Yo guys, Wife of and today we're previewing the game between Arsenal and Millwall behind closed doors at London Colney. This is Arsenal Previews, the show where we preview all Arsenal games. I'm talking friendlies, Premier League, Carabao Cup, FA Cup. If Arsenal are involved, I'm involved. And as always, make sure to like and sub subscribe so you can never miss a video. And yeah, so it's the friendly behind closed doors. Of course, the Orlando Cup was cancelled due to Arsenal getting multiple um, players testing positive for COVID players and staff asymptomatic of course so their symptoms didn't show and yeah it was a big shame because normally I would be doing the preview for the Orlando Cup game against Inter Milan but we moved there's a friendly behind closed doors today against Millwall as confirmed by multiple Arsenal journalists on Twitter and they were previewing it as usual uh, leave your um, score prediction down below for the game I can't promise we'd get a score because it's not being streamed anywhere but if we do then I'll shout out whoever gets it right so it'll be the first team of Arsenal versus the first team of uh, Millwall so uh, as usual with this show, we're going to talk about the backstory behind the game, uh, the predicted lineups, etc. And then, um, yeah, the implications of the game. To be honest, because it's a friendly behind closed doors, it'll be kind of a short video because there's not much to talk about. Obviously, we, the other videos uh, were a bit longer. And for the Premier League, of course, they'll be much longer because there's much more to talk about, much more implications than just friendlies. But yeah, so it is behind closed doors. There's not a specific time I can find, but it will be today. Saturday um, in July, the 24th of July, 2021. And it'll be at London Colney, which of course is Arsenal's training ground. Arsenal, these mugs, they have the capacity to stream it, but they won't. And the people that paid the £27 to watch all four of the games, the two in Scotland and then the two in Orlando, what's going to happen to two Orlando games? Are they going to get refunded for that or what? Because they've just been scammed out of two football games. Absolute joke. And um, yeah, so in terms of the teams uh, playing for Arsenal, apart from the people that test positive for covid uh, I'm pretty sure the whole first team is available to play and they probably will get a good run out. People like Aubameyang, Nuno Tavares, Partey, like I said, I've seen in training pictures and stuff. Maybe even Lokonga, he'll get a game, which I'd love to see. So basically, I can't really... I'm going to predict the lineup, but I can't say for sure because I don't know who, who was in training in terms of test sports. I'm just based off videos I've seen and pictures I've seen of people in training. So I assume they are available to play. So with that being the case, goalkeeper-wise, Leno has come back. There was pictures of him yesterday saying he's back from um, training. To be honest, I'd play him because he didn't play at all during uh, the, the Euros. He'll be a bit rusty. He needs to get back into form. So I'd play Leno and give a Quanko um, some minutes as well. Maybe split their time half and half. Right back wise, um, it probably will be someone like Cedric or Bellerin getting the minutes because I just don't think James is um, ready at right back yet. So it'll be one of them too. And then they'll probably like substitute. So it's Bellerin for Cedric and Cedric for Bellerin. They probably play half each. Centre back wise, we can of course um, Ben White isn't available yet. He's still uh, we still ain't finished the signing, of course, and he still went back from holiday to do that. So it'll be a combination of probably someone like Holding Amari or even that Clark guy was alright against Hibernian. Get him some minutes, and yeah, uh, them two Chambers might even get some minutes at centre back as well. And then left back wise, it'll be Nuno Tavares and Tierney half each probably, or maybe 60, um, 60 30 minutes. Something like that, a good mix like that. Centre midwives, we'd love to see new signing Lokonga, obviously available now. He was in training, and I'd love to see him and Partey get some minutes, maybe together, and also swap one another for each other. That'd be lovely. And then you'll get um you'll see Mohamed on and get some minutes as well alongside uh, most probably. And maybe that um those Jack Francis guy, he looked alright, the young geezer, and Miguel Aziz. I'd love to see them two get some minutes in midfield. They seem like good footballers alongside uh, Amari Hutchinson, but I think he's more on like a winger side. Um, yeah, so then winger-wise, uh, obviously Saka ain't back yet. Martinelli, Olympic duty. So someone like Pepe, let's get him some more minutes. I really don't want to see Willian touch the pitch at all, man. I just sack him off, man. Completely just leave him out of the team. So I'd love to see someone like Reese Nelson get the minutes instead. And then Cam, the new boy, number 10, Emil Smith-Rowe, back into the team. Let him get some minutes. And then up front, Balogun, Lacazette, Aubameyang. Let them like rotate a bit so they can get, all get some form. So yeah, that would be the team I'd love to see Arsenal play today. In terms of uh, score prediction, I guess, for the game, I'm going to say a 3-1 Arsenal. We've got home advantage in our training ground. Yeah, let's just hope Arsenal uh, release some highlights after. As always, uh, I've been White Football. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave your comments down below, your score predictions and what you think of the game. If the results are released, then I'll shout out someone when I review. I mean, I don't know if I'll, if I'll be able to. I won't properly review the game because I won't be able to see it. But if they release highlights or something, then I'll talk about it and say, oh, this was a good result, this wasn't, etc. But yeah. I've been waiting for when I'll see you guys in the next video.